Spotlight is one of the coolest features of macOS. Now, on this channel, you won't hear me say too many things that are positive about macOS, but Searchlight is definitely one of those features that Mac does really, really well. Now, one thing as a Linux user I will say is that Linux has had this Spotlight functionality in many different applications for a very, very long time, long before macOS had it. So, technically... Linux is still better than Mac, nana nana boo boo. <laughs> but the point is, is that Spotlight is really, really good. And since it has improved, there have been many more improvements on the Linux side. And there have been many more attempts at replicating that type of functionality on some Linux distributions. Now today, what we're going to do is take a look at another one of those attempts. And this is called Searchlight. And this is a GNOME extension. So it will only work if you use GNOME, so unfortunately that's just the way we'll have to deal with it. But it's actually pretty cool, but it's only pretty cool, and it's almost, almost there. So we'll talk about that. So let me show you what this looks like. So we're here in Ubuntu, and I chose Ubuntu simply because I had happened to have the ISO around. But basically what Searchlight is, is it looks like Spotlight for Linux. Now, obviously... It's just for GNOME, but still, its purpose is to search the system for basically anything. And I specifically use those words because it's specifically for the system. There is no web search here. That's a big part of it that's missing. Hopefully, that will come in the future. But if what you want is something that will search your system in a very appealing manner, or very aesthetically pleasing manner then Searchlight is something that you might want to look into. So let's just say you wanted to search for a file that you happen to have on your system. I happen to know I have Tux here in a file, and it does show me that. And if I click on it, it will show me Tux inside of the image viewer. If I do that again and search for Tux, I can actually just use the Enter key, and it will do the same thing. Now, it will also search for applications. So... I know I have a system monitor on here, so I can open it up, type in system monitor, and it'll come up. So it does a very good job of searching the system for both applications that you have installed and files on your system. Now, I'm not sure how well it will work if you have a ton of files. This is a brand new installed VM, so there's not a lot of files here. So it may slow down if you have a ton of files, I'm not sure. But it uses the same search functionality you get built into GNOME. So if you type in Tux, if you can actually type, good lord, it does the same thing here inside of the search application for GNOME. It just does it in a purdier manner. So files and applications that are on your system, it does a very good job of finding. Now, one place where it does kind of fall down is searching for applications that are not on your system. So if you use just the regular GNOME search and type in like Telegram like this, it'll eventually come up with Telegram from the software store and it will show you anything that's related to that hap to that search, right, from the software center. And you see, see how quick that is. If we were to use Searchlight to do the same thing, so let's just search for Discord, it will search for it, but it's going to take a little bit longer. I'm not sure what the delay is there, and sometimes it takes even longer than that. But it does it, it does and will search the software center just like the regular GNOME search will. And like I said, it will do so in an, an, an aesthetically pleasing manner. It just it looks very nice, right? And of course, it doesn't take up the whole screen. It just takes up the center of the screen. So, so when you use the search for GNOME, it actually takes you out of whatever you're doing and it takes you into this view here, and then you have to do your search. So if you search for Telegram again or whatever, it takes up the entire user experience, where if you search for Telegram in Searchlight, it only takes up this small space. So the ways of searching may be the same, but it doesn't necessarily take you out of the user experience. So it makes it much easier if you're searching for something, but you are kind of like looking how you're supposed to spell it or whatever, you can do so much easier here, than in the other UI. Now, the last thing that I wanna show you here before we jump into the settings is just that it will not show you anything from the web. So if you search for something like that, eventually it's gonna come up, it does for some reason show you some results from the software center, I don't know why that happens to be, but it doesn't show you anything from the web. If they were to institute 
web search inside of this, it would make it even more appealing because it has the same limitations as this here. So if you type in like so, you don't get any web results from here either. So it's because it's using the same, I'm going to call it search engine, but you get that it uses the same source of the search results as this does. So it's going to have the same results and same limitations. So if they could add web search to it, you know, using DuckDuckGo or whatever, that'd be make it so much better. So the last thing we should take a look at is installation and settings. So this is a GNOME extension, so you have to install it through the GNOME extension manager or through the GNOME extensions website, however you manage your extensions. And I chose the GNOME extensions manager. You can get that on FlatHub. And uh, you just go here, search for Searchlight, and it's right here, and you hit install. It will install it. And then you'll get this entry here inside of your installed extensions. And then you have the settings. So by default, there is no default key binding. So you'll have to set your own key binding. I chose Alt D. I was going to try to use Super D because I'm used to Rofi coming up with Super D. But Super D is a minimized key binding for Ubuntu. So I couldn't use that. But I set the key binding. And it will allow you to choose where it will show up if you have multiple monitors, which is really nice. It will also it will also allow you to choose to have it pop up on the monitor that is in focus. So if your cursor is on the other monitor, it would it would pop up over there instead of popping up where the cursor is not. That's really nice. It will also allow you to display a icon up here at the top. So if you didn't want to use a key binding, you could use that as well. Oddly. It doesn't go away when you click the icon again. You have to hit escape. Uh, it would be nice if once you click on that and it pops up, you click it again, it should go away. It, but it does not. So that's one thing. Uh, in terms of appearance, you do actually have quite a bit of control over how it looks. So you can change the text color, the text size, and the, the search text size. You can ch choose how wide and high it is in terms of the dimensions, uh, the border thickness and the border radius, and the border color. So if you're a themer, you can alter this to look however you want, including how much transparency it has, the intensity of the blur, and so on and so forth. It also allows you to control the brightness. So if you have a darker or lighter white wallpaper, you can set it up so that you can at least see it, right? So you do have a fair amount of control over what it looks like, which is more honestly than I expected. So that is Searchlight. There's not much more here that I can show you. It's a really nice alternative to the search that is built into Ubuntu and other GNOME-based distros. That's basically what it is, and that's basically all it needs to be. I would really like it if they added web search because that would add even more functionality, and it would make it much more like Spotlight, which is what it's trying to emulate. Uh, if you've ever used Spotlight before, you'll know that it searches basically everything. So, you know, it will search through Wikipedia and it will do a Google search and whatever. Now, I understand that as an open source project, they probably don't want to uh, use proprietary stuff. So searching Google's probably out, but you could use DuckDuckGo or Cirques or something like that. And that would add a whole bunch more functionality on top of this. And that would make it even more useful. So, like I said, that is Searchlight a brief little look at a GNOME extension that I've found pretty useful when I'm in a GNOME environment. So if you have thoughts on this, you can leave those in the comment section below. You can follow me on Mastodon or Odyssey. Those links will be in the video description. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Links for YouTube and LiberaPay will be in the video description. Thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel does not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thanks so very much very very much for your support i truly do appreciate it you guys are awesome thanks everybody for watching i'll see you next time